Okay, here's the thing. The last time we reviewed the first trailer for this film, we got so much abuse from all over the place. People said you don't understand, people said it was stupid, people said that we were ill-informed. Is it Godzilla? No. Oh. It's God. Mowgli. Directed by Andy Serkis, who we like. We are fans of Andy Serkis. Yep. We are Jungle Book, the original fans, and we un understand, thanks to many people who commented on our last trailer review, yeah. that this returns to the very origin story. So I think on that basis alone, that it's the Rudyard Kipling stripping away Disney, yeah. stripping away childish nonsense, yeah. people have asked us to review it in that light. Right, okay. Shall we? Yeah. Shall we give it another go? Yeah. And shall we? We're going to give you our honest opinion, though. So we recognise that this will be. We're not a, just going to say it's good, though. We're not because you guys like it. No, no, no. So we're not. We we're going like to if it. we if we're a bit tired of it or whatever. We're going to be honest, but we're going to reapproach it because you asked us to, and you 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 know wisely guided us through the fact that we had ignored. This is a Rudyard Kipling story. I tell you, sometimes the problem with it though is that there've been so many different versions of it. Now, I agree. And it is just getting a bit. I, We've been you can there. only know the story so much. Yeah, so even going into it in more detail is lost because I do think the potential for any Mowgli film has been diluted by the real live-action Jungle Book. I do had. have a problem with the yeah. CGI. Yeah, yeah. It's so. too much. When it's just CGI, like the last Jungle Book, yeah. it gets too much for me. Yeah. It's not believable anymore. But we are honest we trailer are. reactors yeah. and reviewers. And so we will now watch it, but we will watch it with a not with a kinder eye, but we will give our honest opinion. So here it goes. I've never seen a man cut before. It's so smooth. So let's use them. Sup? Out of my way. I shouldn't let them pick on me like that. Wolves are supposed to be with other wolves. He's not a wolf. I've seen the way you look at the village. Mowgli, you are one of them. and then I'll let you run at it. I thought the eyeballs of all the animals looked like the eyeballs of all the characters you get in computer games. So they weren't, I didn't feel the soul of them. So I felt that rendering, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the technical term for that is, but there was something that I didn't believe the soulfulness of the animals. And I think you really need to in Jungle because it's all about the animals as much as it's about Mowgli. And the second thing is, call me old fashioned, but I don't want my animals in the jungle to have a Cockney accent. No, I had a real problem with Blue having that. What, what was, was that? that? 
I had a real problem with all of the voiceovers, actually. Yeah, I did too. And I had a problem with the Britishness. Now I get it that Rudyard Kipling, he was a oh, I know, yeah, member of the Raj, that last time all that kind it. of stuff. Yeah, I get that. But I don't know. There was something a bit too English about too many of the voices. And I know it's about Englishness because it's the Raj and the Indian yeah. Empire and all that. I get that. But um, but the animals, they were there. The certain accent, British accents that yeah. they had was just didn't work. I wanted to be grabbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like how um, it's darker than yeah. the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I don't feel like the rest of it lives up to that darkness. No, it's well, not it's the, the animals. The, the animals are, animals are really letting me down. Yeah. Like even with the the last Jungle Book, which yeah. was also CGI. Yeah. Although I didn't really like the CGI and I didn't really like the film. No. The CGI, it had more to it. I know what you mean. I, even with them, there's always a certain, you can't really like Relate a CGI, no. CGI character because of that eye thing. Yeah. But even that one had something more. I just feel if you're going to commit to CGI that much, you yes. should at least make it like yeah, amazing. Yeah, 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 you know, I agree. I agree. I think they reined in the boy. I didn't find, I remember, seem to remember in the first trailer finding the boy really irritating. I didn't find him as irritating. No, I thought he was, really. I thought it was kind of cute. And I think it's quite a good move, bold move actually, to reduce the amount of words he says because he wouldn't be that chatty, would he? He's been, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. born in the wild. And he's very different to like, the other two Maldives mm. because they're quite happy and yes, chatty yeah. whereas his more like but don't get me wrong I'm all up for a more serious exploration yeah, of the story yeah, yeah. but I don't I, you I know, don't part, think it looks like it's done very well but also another part of me wonders how serious did Rudyard Kipling want it to be <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean I mean I know we're all no, saying this is the origin story and we need a serious un-Disney one but do we I had a real problem with Baloo that's the bear right Baloo, yeah it sounded like Ray Winston right you grab your well, ass on the tree I'm a bear Whoa, yeah. What are you doing no reading, mate? I've got it. He sounded like the uh, guy out of the first Mary Poppins. It's like, no. Yeah. I feel Blue needs to have like a softer, yes. kind of happy... Inviting. Well, he was just like, I ain't growing a tree. That's yeah. what you hear down our ends. Down our ends. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the animals need to be a bit softer. I'm sorry, even if it's a serious... Even that, that wolf as well. You need to help us. Mildly. Yeah. Well, All right, Governor. My name's Blue, and I'm going to come into the jungle and I'm going to get you. 